Hello everyone. In previous videos, we have discussed how this input image is transforming into um, a vector input and the it is transforming into the convolution layer. The convolutional layer is performing convolution process to extract the information. Then it is using a ReLU activation function for uh, computing the values in each and every neuron. After generating the feature map by using the convolution process, we will apply max pooling to downsample the image to decrease the number of parameters to process in training time. So, now this generated uh, feature map after downsampling with many number of hidden layers we will get the output in the form of a matrix format so now we will use fully connected layer to generate the um, to generate the classification output so for that we will use fully connected layer uh, by using the extracted information in convolution layer the fully connected layer is like a simple artificial neural network which is used in the machine learning traditional uh, way the output from the convolution layer is 2d matrix for example in previous uh, uh, output the feature map we have generated here in the form of uh, matrix so here this matrix is sending to the fully connected layer but the fully connected layer can only work with one dimensional data so what we have to do this 2d matrix has to be converted into 1d value that is vectors so here for this we have to apply the process flattening so the flattening process of uh, transforming this matrix format of input in, uh, into the uh, vector format so this vector format of input will be sending into the fully connected layers the fully connected layer is a traditional uh, neural network as i told you so which is having the inputs here input 1 input 2 input 3 input 4 so for example here we are having uh, four uh, four uh, pixel values this inputs will send to the neurons which are available in the fully connected layer so the fully connected layer is having neurons like this so now this each and every input will uh, connect with the fully connected layer now so this fully connected layer is performing the operation uh, by uh, uh, getting this information from the feature maps we have generated in hidden layers the fully connected layers performing two types of operation for this information uh, linear transformation and nonlinear transformation so the linear transformation what uh, we can use any activation functions uh, uh, to extract the input and generate the output so here the uh, each and every neuron in the output layer based upon our application it may be a binary class classification or multi class classification then this input will uh, send to the output layer from the fully connected layer so here in as per our uh, diagram we are having two fully connected layers then finally we are sending to the output layer the output layer is having here as per this diagram two uh, neurons so it is binary class classification finally you will get the output by using any uh, classifier either uh, um, sigmoid for binary class classification softmax for multi class classification so now we have got predicted output that is called y dash in our data set mostly we will get the uh, ground truth value output label y so uh, this is actual output this one is the predicted output the second next step is we have to calculate the error that is y minus y dash so we have to calculate that this is the cost we can uh, calculate this by using some loss functions thanks for watching